A fleet of Scandinavian ships was deployed to collect the chemical cargo. 1,300 tonnes was supposed to have been shipped out by the 5th of February. But to date, the ships have made just two trips to the port of Latakia. And according to the US, less than 5% of the stockpile has been handed over. If this pace remains the same, they could still be here this time next year. The OPCW has enforced a strict media blackout due, it says, to the sensitivity of the operation. We're still receiving very carefully worded statements from here. The latest one says that Syria must accelerate the pace at which the chemicals are being delivered to the ports. But the organization will not say in public what's actually happening on the ground. Is President Assad playing a diplomatic poker game? With each delay, suspicions are growing that signing up to the deal was a tactical move designed to divert international attention and avert military intervention. It costs half a million US dollars a week to keep the Helga Ingstadt operational at sea. Countries like Norway, the United States and Britain have invested substantial amounts of funding and faith in this mission. Now, the most significant sign so far that this patience may be evaporating. At peace talks in Switzerland, John Kerry said that the option of military force was still fully on the table. The international community are losing patience uh, with the Syrian regime. We've heard va virtually all uh, major players in the P5 say this, and the Americans uh, most recently have again told the regime they need to pick their game up and move forward, the UN, the OPCW uh, as well. Many are beginning to wonder how much longer those who initially invested such hope will be prepared to wait for President Assad to deliver on his promises. Anna Holligan, BBC News in The Hague.